Regional Transit was the one being taken for a ride tonight by a computer hacker. It's kind of like a nerd flexing his muscles. That hacker forced RT to halt its operating systems that take credit card payments and assign buses and trains to their routes. New tonight, CBS 13 Steve Large is live in downtown Sacramento with who this hacker could be, Steve. Live at the Capitol and 7th Station, and the folks that run RT are happy. This day is almost over. A day of chaos because of this hacker who is apparently seeking fun at RT's expense. Next stop, a Homeland Security investigation. Regional Transit alerting federal agents following an attack on their computers riders may not have noticed. We actually had um, the hackers get into our system and systematically start erasing programs and data. Inside RT's headquarters, computer systems were taken down after a hacker deleted 30 million files. There are backups. The hacker also demanded a ransom in Bitcoin and left this message on the RT website. I'm sorry to modify the homepage. I'm good hacker. I just want to help you fix these vulnerability. Ryan Eldridge is the founder of a company called Nerds on Call. I would say they're probably young uh, because they just want to show off. Eldridge says the hacker will likely find an online forum to take credit for the hack and that they may not be local. The person who, ha who hacked it may have simply had an exploit that he was running in the background on his machine and then got a hit. Hey, RT is available to be hacked. A hacker's havoc on this Sacramento transit system that sends 100 trains and 200 buses into daily service. RT says they managed through the trouble without a significant slowdown for their riders. And back here live at uh, the Capitol and 7th Station, uh, RT is saying tonight this is the first time that they've been the target of a cyber attack. They also say that uh, no employee or uh, passenger identities were stolen. Glad it wasn't worse. Steve Large in downtown Sacramento. Thanks, Steve. New tonight.